Today we're trying the Wild Basin Seltzer's original pack. It's time to get Monday drunk. Hello, welcome to another hard seltzer video where we try every flavor of a specific thing. Today, like Corey said in the intro, it's the original four pack of the Wild Basin. Uh, this is the Oscar Blues Brewing Company out there in Colorado made seltzers. And I feel like they were one of the first breweries to do it, to like kind of hop on this game. So nice job, Oscar Blues. I, I will say the design of these is beautiful. I think they're very artistic looking. Looks like maybe like a, a surreal cartoon that I'd want to be a part at of. At this point, I know you've gotten to do the B-roll. I'm only staring at nutritional information. <laughs> And I don't want to mess it up until we're ready. Yeah, that's a good point. I can look at the LCD screen, but they're like this big on there, and I can, I can just see colors and stuff. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad, I'm, I have high hopes now. It sounds like they're amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to see. I can't wait for him to see these. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, these are fantastic. I really do like these, uh, <laughs> these cans. These are good. I like them. Corey, what's our first one here today? First dip, we got wild basin, boozy, sparkling water, lemon agave hibiscus. Nice. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, not good. Hello, darkness, my old friend. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I don't know if that's hibiscus. Is hibiscus um, Spanish for just shit fruit? <laughs> Hibiscus is a genus of flowering plants in the mallow, mallow family. Mal I'm learning less by reading mallow. this. Who eats flowers, bro? People already know what I'm about to say. Probably. A little heavy on the leaves, bro. <laughs> I just don't know, the people that are like buying these seltzers, well, here more so, are the companies going, dude, let's try to like make the weirdest shit possible to f with these people. Here's what us poor people don't know. In fancy land, they eat stuff like this. Mm. I'm sure that there's some brunch where they have hibiscus toast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. some $17 hibiscus toast. For yeah, sure. some white girls loving it. Thank you. Thank you. Is it cute? Yeah, so cute. Send it to me. Mm -hmm. Me too. Look what I just posted. Eating crap with these sacks of shit. Yeah, man, I don't. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say um, I don't enjoy that personally. Yeah, it's not great. But you know what? We're relentless and we move on to the next one. So <laughs> things could go up from here. They could. All right, you ready for the next one? Yes, I am. All right, what do we got uh, second? Second up, we've got their cucumber peach flavor. That looks like they just started looking at like a pervert's phone emojis and just made it into a drink. <laughs> uh, whatever Trent's last two emojis used work. Cucumber peach? Okay. Isn't that the sign for let me stick my up your ass? <laughs> That would be what that it is. That is cucumber yeah. and peach. If you're a young gentleman, a millennial or whatever they're called they, nowadays, they, Gen Z, Gen Z, and you send a text with an emo, a cucumber dripping, sweat dripping emoji, mm -hmm. then a peach emoji, that's saying, let me put it in that boot. Mm -hmm. That's not even offensive, that's a fact. Some facts are offensive, yes. <laughs> that's true. I have to explain new things to my wife all Cheers. the time. Excuse me. Ooh, that's not like better because I like peach a lot and it's not very cucumbery as much as it is peach. Exactly. You know, I'm not a big cucumber guy in drinks and it's it's it's, it's more peach forward. Cucumbers great at just like being healthy and then taking on the flavor of whatever it's around it, I think. Yeah, it kind of absorbs it. I think cucumber and water is probably not my jam, although I haven't really tried it much, but like I imagine, but I put half a cucumber in my morning juice every morning, mm -hmm. never taste it. Yeah. Never once have I been like, okay. ooh, this is too cucumbery. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's the most liquidy of the things I'm putting in my juice. It's right. taking up the vastest majority, but it just kind of takes whatever else I put in there and just, I guess, is filler. That's a good filler point. Juice. Yeah, I imagine cucumber water is something that a really fancy therapist would serve in the waiting room. The cucumber accents the water in such a way that I don't, I don't take care of my mental health. My therapist serves RC Cola. There's a 0% chance that that's true. This one is so much better than the first one. Mm -hmm. Like starting with that, they had a tough shake on the first one because I, I kind of wrote off the entire company in my head and now we're back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, let's move on to the third one. All right. Third is melon basil. Uh oh. 
Melon, which is the worst part of every fruit salad, they kind of, that's a, talk about a filler. To get a fruit salad somewhere, they stuff a lot of melon in it because that's the cheapest thing. Oh and yeah. Then, and then now we got basil with it, which if you watched a couple weeks ago, the strawberry basil from PBR made us audibly mad. We got stronger seltzer, 8% alcohol by volume. Strawberry basil? You guys have been asking for it and we finally did it. Here at PBR, we've got strawberry basil. I mean, I'm gonna basil. get it. That's weird. The basil came through before it even hit my lips, which is a little concerning. I'm mad that there was more basil than strawberry. I in sync. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, not nearly as bad as I expected. Not even close. You know why? Because I don't really taste any basil. Yeah, I'm not getting any basil in this. It's all melon. Yeah, and you're right. Melon is like the worst of the fruit salad fruits. Yeah. But I guess that's decent in the drink form. It's I don't not, know. This isn't bad at all. I, I, I never like melon in those little fruit salads, but this is not, I don't know, this is much, 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 much better. You kind of eat the melon to get to the pineapple and the strawberry. Yeah. In the in the world that Sean and Corey are eating fruit salad, like at, maybe at a hotel or something. <laughs> um, yeah, I, the melon's just kind of the filler. Mm. I like that, man. This I really do. My favorite, honestly. Man, dude, you know? Shout out to carbon dioxide. Huh? I don't know, it's in the ingredients. Carbon dioxide? That's what it says. Can you believe it? Isn't, Why? it supposed to, isn't that supposed to kill you? Are we drinking cancer? No. Is that just someone breathing into it? Isn't that what we exhale? Yeah. Someone who's just standing over it is going to. Right, seltzers go. were born. Here, would you want one? No. Wow, okay. Well, I feel good about this. Why does. Oh, uh, I'm crazy. Why? I'm getting a peanut buttery taste. I think I'm losing my mind. Yeah, yeah. I think you're having a stroke. Mm, not bad though. No, I enjoy that. Wow, we've really come a long way from that about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fourth and final, classic line. <laughs> Nothing else to be said. Oh my god. Stop! Ooh. That was the worst I've ever done. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, not classic to me. We're, okay. You know how you tasted peanut butter in the last one? Yeah. I didn't taste a single thing. It's like my tongue took the play off. Oh, this is, you're lucky then. Cause I tasted this and it's not a taste I enjoy. I don't, where the, is the taste? What's going on in this basin? It's on the back of the tongue. You getting back there? <laughs> no, I, I feel like I literally just got COVID in three seconds. No. Nothing. I mean, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm getting, Consider yourself blessed. Good. Because I'm tasting it and it's not a taste I want. <laughs> yeah, well, I think this is, okay, so this is a straight up, like, two are good, two are, like, get out of, like, I don't even, you're not making the podium, there's just no bronze medal in my world, sorry, I'm sorry, we're just not doing it, you know, that's what we decided. Like, there's only two that matter. I agree, I agree. What the hell was that all about? All right, well, before we go ahead and hand out a gold and a silver medal here at the 2021 Hard Seltzer Olympics, let's do a shout out. Do a shout out with us. Dude, dope. That dog's in the video now. Merch shout out, merch shout out, merch shout out. I got the Monday drunk shirt on. Dude, if you are on team Get Drunk on Mondays, buy this shirt. It's your jersey now. And Corey's got the new X Cross, whatever it's called, the new Teal X shirt. I think that's my favorite shirt we've ever done. I think so too. You know, it's just a thing we said out loud. Um, and then now, we're gonna say two names of people that bought off the website because the only reason the show can keep going is because of the people that watch it. Imagine if we just that's did, true. like, you know, it'd be fine to do this for like a year maybe with no success, but we're on like year five, so let's go ahead and give homage, pay homage to the homagers. My tummy hurts. No. Merch shout out number one goes Miss Stephanie Fulton. <laughs> She's trying to bite it every clap. That's funny. Uh, Stephanie got a uh, bottle of Sixer sauce and the black koozie. Mm. Stephanie, thank you for those purchases. I'm glad we got to send those out to you. Cincinnati, Ohio. I've heard of it. It's down there. Good place. Merch shout out number two goes to a dear friend of mine, Mr. Tet. <laughs> you forgot your own friend's name? <laughs> And merch shout number two goes to a dear friend of mine, Mr. Tom Keller. Tom lives in Macomb, Michigan. He bought three bottles of hot sauce. Uh, Tom also, Corey, you'll love this, about, uh, oh, like 12 years ago, Tom was voted the best college journalist in the state of Michigan. Uh, Did you love that? <laughs> yeah, surprising. <laughs> Honestly, you set the bar a little too high for yourself. Cause I was like excited for something. Yeah, yeah. No. Tom, uh, one of the best people, he's one of those people that's like the best guy and also the most fun guy in the room. He's just like the hybrid of the two. Tom, thanks so much for supporting this web series. Uh, thanks for buying the hot sauce and thanks for continuing to, 
you know, pretend like my life matters compared to yours. That's really nice. That's kind of what I get based off of your orders. So thank you so much. No. Number six for cheese.com. That's the website. Buy or don't. Thanks for the support. Now, moment of truth. Um, Olympic ceremony song interlude underneath. Thank you. Editing. Um, all right, so now the time to pick either the silver or the gold medal because we decided those two, they, what would be like an, an Olympic term for somebody like it gets disqualified? Like it's, DQ. Yeah, they both got DQ based on sucking. Um, so here we go. Uh, do you have, I need to do that too. Dude, I'm digging this peanut butter one. It's like funnier as I keep thinking about it. I don't know why. That's like a weird, that's a comedy one. Man, these are both good. Kai, come tell me if you're getting a hint of peanut butter on that. Okay. No. <laughs> this one's not even that bad. Thank God. Thank God. It's not, right? It's not melon no. or basil flavored. Right. Are all these this okay? Farley. You're a drunk. <laughs> but, but. Oh, <laughs> turn it over. She just, here you go. Are you, what the, what? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's sexual. I'm frog lady. Dude, you really. Oh, she got embarrassed. I think you should do the whole kit episode at this angle. Me too, dude. <laughs> there are some channels that do, Kylie. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. No. Damn, I swear to God, I'm getting peanut butter. Dude, I'm all worried about you. You Let gotta her. get off this. You gotta, you gotta get back on the horse. Tell me when it's right. Okay, we'll tell you. Oh, damn, careful. that was actually really good. Yeah? Yeah, looks really good. Good? Perfect. Hey, relax. She's drunk, dude. She's like four pounds. <coughs> All right, do you have a first and a second place yet? Yeah, you want me to go first or you want to go first? Corey Wagner, who is your silver medal? All right, so silver medal, I'm gonna go cucumber peach. Mm -hmm. Decent. Congrats, Germany. Decent outing, not bad. Number one, I'm going peanut butter, <laughs> melon, basil. Wait, is this one peanut butter flavored? Yeah, that was the one you said was, yeah. Yeah, that one's got peanut butter in it. It's good. <laughs> also, by the way, I'm losing my mind. It does not taste like peanut butter. Don't. Disclaimer. Don't, don't buy this and think that it tastes like peanut butter. Remember, so cheese is losing a goddamn mind. I'm gonna go, I hate, I hate that I'm doing this, but it's the exact same. Really? I okay. don't think it's peanut butter. Second place is cucumber peach. Congratulations, nice job, Germany. And then melon basil. Fat gold medal, dude. Congratulations to Bingo. Melon, and if you would have stopped me in the streets and said, of these four flavors, what do you think you'll like the least? I would have said melon basil. Breweries, beer breweries seem to be doing it right because this is also, I'm just starting to, like this is triggering me that this is less airy. Yes. I'm getting less of the burps yeah. from this. Mm -hmm. you, you don't feel like your esophagus is going to explode right. after right. you were drinking with your friends? Right. That's a good feeling. That must be the peanut butter. Guys, let us know if there's any other seltzers you wanna see us do. Every other Monday, we put out a seltzer video. We got another one coming in two weeks. Uh, we can't wait for you to watch that one, and we'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for a brand new video. Zzz. Sure! I'm gonna have this one. I'll have a drink. Which one are you going? Oh, melon basically. Mm. Yeah. Mm, I kinda want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs>